Hello everybody and welcome back to Shaw Racing Collect, where today we're stuck inside because it's raining. Yup. So might as well film. Yup. So, uh, we have a VR for VR! VR! Our VR today yeah. is for... Oh, that freaking thing disappeared again. It didn't disappear. It's, it's right there. I know, but I have to go like this. And then you gotta go. And then I gotta go like this and this, and it's on the wrong one. There it is! Yeah. We're doing the VR for BD Kane 721 for his home run challenge contest. But first. 721, happy Thursday. Oh, see, 721, told you. Happy Thursday. So, BD Kane has 803 subscribers. Um, he does contests, he does a lot of VRs, he does mail days, like, like another channel I know. I don't know. I don't know that other channel. He does baseball. He does hockey. Um, he, it's a lot of fun. He does a, a, lot, a really good job. Um, he's got really, really, he's very, very knowledgeable about the cards and everything else. And it's really cool. So go check him out. Um, he's on a lot of channels in the uh, card community. And yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, it's a good chat. Happy Thursday so, morning. Hope everybody's... What we're doing is, the deadline is tomorrow. We've been kind of waiting to uh, get us all together to do this. But what it is, is you had to choose two people. He has two cards from all the home run challenge this year. And of course, Fernando Taki Jr. is hurt, so he's out of it. And uh, Buster Posey, because he doesn't play anymore. He retired. He retired. So he's out, but you had to pick two people and show a card from those people and you'll be entered in to if that person hits a home run on when he picks the date you can you're in uh you might be able to win the card so the two people i picked are oh give me a second. cameraman oh sorry i need to go back to the thing now. yeah cameraman. See, this is why that stupid thing i hate it when it's on two different you gotta click on it dad yeah, i know shush it <laughs> It's been a while since we filmed. So, cameraman. So, the two I picked, I cheated. Why'd you put them there? But okay. Because it's our trio, okay. Dad. So, there's the two people I picked. Bo Bichette and Vladimir Guerrero. But, uh, this card I cheated is... because this has both, so he wanted a card of each. Okay, so uh, I this card have... is 66 out of 105. Yes, 50. and that card I won from Brandon the Goat Jansen. Um, in one of his draws and okay, so I do actually have one card for each of them. Here's another Vladdy card Which I also won from Brandon the goat Jansen. It's a tri patch and it's a tri patch of Vladdy Guerrero It's one of my favorite uh, patch cards. I have from it's, him. It's absolute baseball Yes, it is absolute. It's also 2021. It's absolutely amazing yep. and so my Bo Bichette card I picked is just friends is from the update series and that's the fast friends the error card because that is not marcus simeon as it says on the back that is teoscar hernandez oh i thought you would have done his rookie card no i like this card because uh there's still people out there that don't know that this is actually a error card that they didn't fix so those are my two choices for the contest bd kane everybody please go check out bd kane and uh Oh, there they are there. Um, yeah, go check him out. So he said we didn't have to do one special here for him. So the boys and I and, and Mama Shaw. Went shopping like a week ago. Well, actually it's more than that now. Yeah, it's, it's been got a couple it's, weeks it's now. A we found a new uh, collectible store is the easiest way. So, But first, uh, we have a different store that we always go to and show a little bit of gaming product from it. And we finally got their business card. Yes, that is. This is our store where it used to be by LCS, but now they've changed, and uh, it's now just a game store. They have games, and they have all gaming cards and stuff. But I still get all my supplies from. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it's Coros Games at Orangeville. Um, but the store we actually found is called Noble Toys. Noble Toys. Uh, this is a card from their actual home store in Bolton. But they have a new, they call it Noble Toys Junior in Orangeville. And, and we went in, and it was awesome. 
we all got something from there, which will there was be a whole shown. wall of, of Funkos for yeah, AJ. Which I almost there was, crap my pants. Yeah. There, there's a there's, there's a, a back, back room, room that was all comics, comics and for, records for there. and records. Yeah, yeah. And there was another room that was all antique stuff, but they had cards, they had Pokemon, they had figurine, they had models, they had Funko it was Pops. Awesome. Um, <laughs> and flip the card over. The girl that worked there. Also has a YouTube channel. She has a YouTube channel. Which is the one that you saw um, earlier. Which is actually... Do, 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 one second, please. This is a real pain when it's on more than one page. <laughs> Boom. So this is her page. Um, Tyran, Tyran at Tessa. Um, she does... 99% uh, of the stuff she does is Pokemon. That's funny. Um, but she was really, really nice and helped us out. And uh, we just happened to mention that we have a YouTube channel and do all this. And she goes, well, so do I. So we took each other's information. So that's why I wanted to give her a shout out. Um, and so technically, this is this is our actual video shout out other than BDK. Because he said that you could do, it didn't have to be just him. So What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So what I got for myself, you'll see the boys because they're going to do their own separate videos but what i got for myself is he had in or they had a dollar a bin, dollar box a dollar box and in it was ross lossberry lonsberry from the kings it is a and, 1969 1970 card for a dollar but it had really really nice corners and everything of course like every other card from back then it's not centered but for a buck what the hell it's a Actually, card we didn't have it's just not centered on the back very well. well it's centered back. on the front pretty well. No, it well. isn't. Look at your spacing here. Uh -huh. Look at your spacing over there. Yeah, but it's one of the better cut cards. Sure. <laughs> not even close. And the other one I picked up was actually, I think it was a $4 card or a $3 card or something like that. But, of course, it's racing. It is number 55 out of 95 from, uh, I think, 94 Press Pass. I, di I didn't think it was that old. It is... Oh four. Oh four. Well, I knew there was a four. So two thousand four press pass. It is a Joni Matchek used pit sign. So when I don't know if you've seen races or not, but when they come in, there's always a sign that they stop up against to show them their pit stop, and this is a piece of his sign. So it was really cool. We didn't have one in our collection. I didn't. Uh, front row Joe was a good driver. Um, unfortunately, he was never in the big uh, big teams, but he did have a lot of success. So I thought I'd pick it up. What did they call him, Front Row Joe? Because he got a lot of pole positions. Nice. Um, and that's basically it in a nutshell. He uh, he got a lot of uh, pole positions, so they his nickname was Front Row Joe. And now he owns a team. Well, his son now runs for Kyle Busch in uh, the truck series. Oh, I thought it was in Xfinity. No. So, thanks everybody for watching. Please go sub, sub up to BD Kane if you haven't yet. Also sub, sub up to Tyranitessa. Um, but yeah, thanks BD Kane for doing the contest. Um, yeah, that's all I got. All right. You guys got anything? Nope. Nope. Okay. Have a fucking day, everybody. Have a fucking good day, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.